let's take a look at the lesson divisibility rules with numbers up to 10,000. It says choose the best answer. Is 70 divisible by 3 with no remainder? Well, let's see. 3 will go into 70. How many times? 3 will go into 7 2 times. My, so 3 times 2 is 6. 7 minus 6 is 1. We bring down our 0. 3 will go into 10 3 times because 3 times 3 is 9. We subtract and 1 is left over. So when they say, is it divisible with no remainder? No, 1 was left over. So it's not divisible by 3 with no remainder. All right, is 40 divisible by 4 with no remainder? Ah, oh, well, I know that 4 times 10 is 40. So yes, it would be divisible by 4 with no remainder, but let's see why. 4 will go into 40. If we say 4 will go into 4 one time, 1 times 4 is 4, and we subtract 0, we bring down our other 0, and then we say 4 divided by 0 is 0, 4 times 0 is 0, 0 minus 0 is 0. So 4 will go into 40 10 times, and there is no remainder, so yes, that is true. Now we have is 97 divisible by 6 with no remainder. Let's try. 6 will go into 97, so 6 will go into 9 one time. 6 times 1 is 6. 9 minus 6 is 3, and then we drop down our 7. 6 will go into 37. Let's see. 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36. Uh, if we go six more, it'll definitely be more than 37. So it went in six times because six times six is 36. And there is one left over. So is 97 divisible by six with no remainder? No, one is left over. Is 61 divisible by nine with no remainder? Well, I could write out my division problem or I could count by nines. And if I do not land exactly at 61, then I know it is not divisible by 9 with no remainder. So let's count by 9s. 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, 54, 63. Oh, we already went over. So no, it is not. All right, is 32 divisible by 2 with no remainder? Well, let's see. 32 divided by 2. All right, 2 will go into 3 one time. 2 times 1 is 2. And then we bring down our 2. 2 will go into 12 6 times. 6 times 2 is 12. And we have no remainder. So yes, 32 is divisible by 2 with no remainder. Another trick is that all of our even numbers will always be divisible by 2. And all of our odd numbers will not be divisible by 2. So if I had 17, I look at this number and I see it's odd, so I would say, no, it's not divisible by 2. But now looking at 32, I can see that it's an even number. So yes, it would be divisible by 2 with no remainder. Next we have, is 96 divisible by 9 with no remainder? Well, let's count by 9s and see. 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, 54, 63, 72, 81, 90, 99. Nope, we did not land exactly on 96, so it is not divisible by 9 with no remainder. Is 46 divisible by 2 with no remainder? Well, remember the odd and even trick? Is this an even number or an odd number? Even number, yeah. All even numbers are divisible by 2. So we know that it is divisible by 2 with no remainder. Yes. Is 51 divisible by 4 with no remainder? Let's see. 51 divided by 4. 4 will go into 5 one time. 4 times 1 is 4. 
5 minus 4 is 1. We bring down our other 1. 4 will go into 11. Let's see, 4, 8, oh, only 2 times, because 4 times 2 is 8. 11 minus 8 is 3. Ah, so there is a remainder of 3, so no, it is not divisible by 4 with no remainder. We have 64. Is 64 divisible by 5 with no remainder? Well, I know that all multiples of 5 need to either end in 0 or 5. So let's look. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Do you see that pattern? 5, 0, 5, 0, 5, 0, 5, 0, and it will continue on that way. So if this does not end in a 5 or 0, no, it is not divisible by 5 with no remainder. And our last one says, is 78 divisible by 9 with no remainder? We could count by our 9s again. 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, 54, 63, 72, 81, oh, 72, 81. 81 is already more than 78, so no, it is not divisible by 9 with no remainder. Fantastic job, friends.